Ryan from Technology. Um, they are doing. They are designing smart vending machine. Let's welcome Ryan on the stage. Sorry that they just blew off right on time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you share screen with us? Right. Let me do it. Okay. You guys okay. seeing this? Yes. Okay. If you're ready, your time starts now. Right. So, welcome to Technology. My name is Wayan, and I'm the co-founder and chief business officer at the company. Um, I'm pretty sure all of you have seen uh, the big old vending machines all uh, possibly all, all, all across the globe and they're pretty good. They work 24 seven with a very lower operating costs. And of course they are the futuristic technology. But the thing is we have to make sure uh, and we know that if there's any uh, any problems with vending machines, yes, uh, because they come with embedded systems which are not upgradable to upcoming technological advancements and they don't have the distributed cloud database, cloud customer database, so that we cannot do, uh, we cannot drive repetitive sales. Um, but yes, um, there are some smart vending machines are already in the market. But the thing is, they're super expensive, and it's creating major hardship for SMEs to get on board on digital ecosystems. And uh, we we wanted to solve those all those problems, and we saw the strong market growth rate in Asia Pacific region. By the year 2023, there will be over um, four and a half million uh, uh, smart vending machine units will be distributed all across the region. And with that, they will be generating 10 billion USD. This is a pretty huge market opportunity. And that's why Vecnology exists to reinvent the future of vending. Our solutions are very simple, yet super efficient. Our smart vending machines come to work with um, deployed IoT and cloud vending technology to mass enable the digital economy through ad tech, e-procurement, and cash, and we're fostering the cashless technology in Southeast Asia. And the machines are coming. Uh, the machines are coming with um, adjustable mechanical design for a wide variety of business needs, and we're implementing AI in the value chain so that we can forecast the product trend, uh, and we can also create a cus uh, customized marketing campaigns for uh, for the corporates and big companies, so that we can drive uh, gigantic sales. Uh, these are our proprietary technologies. V for UA is doing the IoT vending. V Cloud is 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 work. V Cloud is responsible for stocks management and customer database. And V Mod, which is coming up soon. Uh, with that, we're working on our own e wallet systems, and and with that, we can also create our loyalty program. Uh, you may have think that uh, you may have thought that um, vending machines can be, can only be used for uh, hot, hot 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 cups and uh, you know beverages uh, use cases, but actually, it can be used in a wide range of applications. So with our uh, with our commercial e wallet vending machines, which was recently launched, uh, the 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 customers are seeing thirty five percent revenue revenue in their in their sales channel. With our industrial vending machines using the RFID cards functions, uh, the the uh, the, the factory owners is, uh, the factory owners are reducing thirty percent of wastage in terms of uh, PPEs for the employees. And um, it's not just there. Uh, where uh, with our vending machines, uh, with our technologies, we're working on vending systems and also 24-hour e-prescription vending systems too. Um, we've we, yes, we have all these technology, we've all these uh, vending machines, and we've uh, we we had to we had to come up with a, a competitive landscape with our uh, with our competitors. Um, almost our competitors are um, focusing on gross profit oriented business models while we're creating a digital marketplace and getting the monthly revenues uh, this is more of a more of a flat out version of the competitive lens landscape technology uh, is enabling the menu uh, is enabling the distributorship model to MR revenue and we're creating AI, AI and computer visions into our vending machines and we have the local support for Southeast Asia and we are we are sort of as as a manufacturer so all the vending machines are manufactured by technology and we sell it off to our, our clients we call them vending operators and we help the vending machines manage and 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 the end users or consumers are the one who dispense the products. Uh, let's take a look at how our revenue model works. Um, while technology manufactures vending machines and sell off uh, sell off the machines uh, to our clients, we're making forty to seventy percent net profit margin. Where uh, it's not just that. Uh, on the other side, 
whenever a product is dispensed, we're getting 0, uh, 0.5 to 1.5 percent commission fees, and uh, for from uh, industrial vending machines, we're getting 0. 0.05 USD per item transaction. All of these vending machines come with a um, digital flat panel, and from that, we're letting the digital ad agency display the ads. From that, we're making 40 percent ads revenue. Uh, we've launched our new product in our new product in August 28, 2019, and we've, with that we've generated over half a million Malaysia ringgit in revenue, and uh, we've already deployed over 50 vending machine units in all across Malaysia. We're looking for 850k USD to expand our operations in um, Southeast Asia, and uh, we're, we're aiming at uh, coming up with uh, more than 5,000 vending machine machine units per annum. Of course, this team has been has is derived by uh, the co, -co, co founder three co founders from Malaysia, and myself from Myanmar with diverse background, uh, different backgrounds, and um, our advisors from uh, technical technical background and the manufacturing uh, background. So yes, we're the manufacturing uh, manufacturing we're, we're the uh, vending machine manufacturer from Malaysia, and we're aiming at reinnovating the vending ecosystem from Malaysia and, uh, beyond Southeast Asia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Um, we can move on to questions. Maybe you can start with Peter. Um, yeah, I, I, I've seen some models here. I always trying to understand what is right. what is the unique approach um, still in terms of either either the business or the manufacturing or like what's the is there a digital component or or how should I view this in light of is it just the same vending machine, but nicer and better looking. Or what's that? What's the huge difference? Right. So this is our business. The business work. So we're we're not just one vending machine. We're connecting with different key stakeholders. So we work with e-wallet companies to get a unified QR e-wallet uh, e-payment systems. We're working with um, space for uh, location providers to to put our vending machines in. We're also working with um, advertisement agency to dis uh, let them display their ads on our flat panel. So um, we we are the one who is uh, who is ma we're manufacturing the vending machines, and we're also helping these vending machines uh, bought by the clients managed uh, so that they can get additional boosted revenue streams to the clients. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Good data. Right. Do you mind Sorry? data? Uh, we don't. We actually don't. So um, currently, what we're getting is, of course, the sales data from our from the customers, right? Uh, so we're we're not uh, at this moment. We're not just you know making up of this data and sell it to other companies. What well, what we're doing is we're just showing this off to our clients so that they can see which product is doing well, doing better than the the other products. So that um, uh, if if you're from corporates and if you want us if you want to test out this product in let's say Kuala Lumpur and you don't know if this uh, if the customer segment from this area is going to um, um, react well, so you can use the customized uh, marketing campaigns to the digital flat panel and see that you know you can play the interactive gaming. Uh, you you just put in your um, email or phone number, or you know like after this game you get a product. So you can see oh okay this uh, this people from this area are reacting well on this product, so that you can. You know, start selling off, selling like more products in this area. Sounds like a lot. Yeah. Could, could I just under? I mean, it sounds to me like you're providing effectively a managed service to the to your customers, right? Because you're not Correct. only providing them the equipment, the connectivity, but you're also maximizing revenue for them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's like a managed service business for smart exactly. vending machines. Um, exactly. Yeah. But but. I didn't totally understand your model. All of your customers pay you before you install those machines? Right. So the, this, uh, this thing works here. So the, the customers pay 50% upfront to get the vending machines. So with that 50%, we manufacture the vending machines and we deliver out to the customers. And once they receive the vending machines, then they pay the rest 50%. This is just for the vending machine cost. The and rest of the revenues can... And what's your margin just on that delivering the the vending machine? Forty to seventy percent, uh, ranging on what type of vending machines they are they are getting. Is that a cooling vending machines or non cooling commercial vending machines? Is that uh, industrial vending machines? Okay, and then you also sign a contract with the customer to <clears throat> basically manage the vending machine and then share revenue with them. 
Oh yes, yes. So uh, like once these vending machines are, are are at their at their places, then we started working on uh, putting uh, putting the products into the into the vending machines. With that, every time a product is dispensed, we get a small pie, and they get the rest of the they, re they get the rest of the sales channel. And uh, every time the S is displayed, uh, and uh, they also get the small pie out of it out of it too. But you make no commitment to them for that future revenue stream. We do. So every time a customer customer buy a vending machine, so we already come up with this plan of saying that okay, so uh, this ads agency will be uh, will be throwing in the advertisement to your vending machines. Would you be okay with that? If you are okay with that, then you will be getting this percentage from this from this ads. Okay, but my question is this: if the ad if the sales don't come through and you don't sell mm -hmm. the extra revenue, do you have a commitment to pay them a yield? We don't. We don't. No. All right. We don't so have it. How, how are you not just as gross margin focused as all the other guys in your competitive slide? When you make the initial sale, you make a very chunky gross margin. The the monthly right. the monthly revenue is just added bonus for mm. you, right? Exactly, exactly. These are just the added bonus for us. Our main focus is on the manufacturing part because that's where we make a lot of money. And do you use distributors to sell? Uh, yes, we're we're now setting up the distribution model during this COVID nineteen period. So once this uh, MCO is lifted in Malaysia, we're gonna be rolling out these models to uh, to all the uh, other parties. In which case, you'll maybe get some scale, but you'll lose some gross margin to your resellers, right? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't quite get your question. Well, if you're gonna use distributors to sell your mm. product on to retail, presumably you'll lose some of your margin to those guys to incentivize them uh yes but at the same time uh if they are if our distributors are com committing a large number of skill amount of uh, vending machines then we're also covering up the bag okay all right yeah. i understand the model thanks thank you so much judges thanks so much thank you, thank you so much thank you. Thank you.